Hello again, Clean My Space Nation. This week we're tackling a cleaning job that rarely, if ever, gets done and gets the kitchen and the bathroom working in concert. We don't see that too often now, do we? Let me explain. Your oven racks are quite a pain point when it comes to cleaning. You see, you can't leave them in a self-cleaning oven cycle and they're nearly impossible to scrub effectively, but they do look awful after a few thrills and spills and can lead to bad smells and burning charred gunk over time. So I'm gonna show you how to clean your oven racks with next to no effort at all. I assure you when this video is over within 24 hours, 80% of you will have cleaned your oven racks and the other 20% will do it within 48 hours. It's that easy. Okay, enough is enough, let's get going. Oh, but first I wanna tell you, if you notice I am congested, it is true, I have a cold, but that will not stop me from filming a video. Here's what you'll need, an old towel, either a soft sponge or a cleaning toothbrush or both, about a cup of laundry detergent. Now you can use the powdered kind or the liquid kind. I prefer the powdered kind for this job, but if you can't find that, liquid's okay. You can also use dishwashing detergent, which will work just as well. Again, powdered or liquid will work either way. And finally, a bathtub or at least some other kind of tub, which is big enough to fit your entire oven rack into. Pretty easy so far. I am officially standing in my tub. I have all of the supplies that we need, so let's get cleaning. Lay the towel down on the bottom of your bathtub. This is gonna protect the surface of your tub from being scratched by the oven racks or the powder detergent. It's an important step, so do not skip this one. Next, we'll take our dirty oven racks and just place them on top of the towel. Then plug the drain and start filling the tub with the hottest water possible. We're gonna let the tub fill until the water completely covers the racks. Hot water is really important here, my friends. It helps break down the grease and activate the detergent. It will cool over time, but the initial blast should be muy caliente. Finally, we'll take a cup of the laundry detergent or the dish detergent, and as you can see, I've dissolved it in some hot water and then added it to the tub to ensure the product is broken down well. But because I also like the powder because you get that abrasion, I've sprinkled a little bit of extra powder on the bottom of the towel, so that way you get a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B. And that's it. Now we'll let the detergent do its thing for the next six to 10 hours. It's Probably just best to leave it be overnight and give it enough time to really loosen that caked on grease and grime. So, we'll see you in six hours. At this point, all we need to do is wipe off any remaining residue and it should come off fairly easily. You can use a cleaning toothbrush or a soft sponge or cloth to get into those spaces and voila, a clean oven rack. Well, I didn't quite time myself, but I'll say I was scrubbing anywhere between five and 10 minutes and I was just using this soft sponge and I used a little bit of the detergent for some added abrasion. Now, the results, are pretty excellent. They didn't come with me just pulling the racks out of the soupy situation going on over here. Of course, there was a little bit of elbow grease involved, but it was nowhere near the amount of scrubbing that I would have had to do had I not done this overnight bubble bath for the oven racks first. Now I will tell you, dish detergent is designed to work specifically on this type of mess, this grease. So if you can find powdered dish detergent, go for it. I didn't have any, so we used laundry detergent and it works just fine. But I wonder if you use dish detergent, if it would work any better. It's important to note that you should never leave your oven racks in the oven during the self-clean cycle because it can strip the chrome off the rack and permanently damage it. The oven self-cleaning feature is not designed to clean the racks. And besides, this method is so easy, it's like they clean themselves anyway. 
Also, if you have an oven with those coil burners, you can throw in the drip pans overnight in the tub as well. I mean, why not? The common question this week is, what should you be cleaning more often than you actually do? Leave your stories in the comment box below. Who knows, maybe we'll do a video on it. Or just say hi or tell me how you clean your oven racks. I just like hearing from you. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. If you're interested in seeing what goes on during the week at the Clean My Space headquarters or seeing the crazy things that we do see and eat, you can follow us on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker, he's at the Chad Reynolds, and we are at Clean My Space. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you liked that video, you will love these two Clean My Space classic videos. One talks about how to clean your self-cleaning oven, and the other one talks about how to clean your glass cooktop. You can also visit our world-famous website, which is cleanmyspace.com. The link is somewhere down there. We've got hundreds and hundreds of cleaning articles, tips and tricks, and all kinds of other great cleaning information. It is available to you absolutely free, two, four, and seven. So go ahead and check out cleanmyspace.com. Thanks guys, and we'll see you soon.